don't know how to wear my scarf. I think you're a fancy little dress than me. No. Have we said what we're doing tonight? I don't know. We're doing something fun tonight. Yes. But first, I gotta show you two things we got in the middle today. One is super awesome and one is super weird. Super weird thing? We got a phone book. <laughs> we got the yellow pages sent to us. I haven't seen a phone book in like five or ten years. It's ridiculous. You never know when you'll need one. Right, I guess. The second thing is this right here. Thank you, Christina and Grant. This is my birthday present from them. And this is uh, made by the same company that made our gimbal. And it looks like it's almost like a little extendable stick, but you can use it like that. It's made of metal. Right. Heavy duty. You open the legs up and it's a low profile tripod. So, Christina Grant, thank you so much. Really love it, really appreciate it. Um, I know I picked it out, but thank you. We are at Starbucks getting my Chris or my birthday? My yeah. birthday drink? Your free birthday drink. And can so, you put in yeah, in the so story? Right here. One day we're gonna be in Disney World and I'm gonna be drinking this this drink during the Christmas time. On your birthday? No, maybe not on my birthday. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. If we're gonna go. So we're gonna fulfill his dream. It's not on his birthday, but close enough. It's the day after. One day, we're gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink this this at Christmas time. <laughs> on your birthday? No. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Like the video said. It's, it's funny close. Because it's plant plant. Yes. I think weirdly, me and Sarah knew from like last October all the way to February that maybe this was coming. Maybe I just don't we did. Think that we ever literally talked about it until February of 2017. During the February videos, I say like we should move down here like joking around. But I didn't even then. I was just like I'm gonna drink this one day in Disney <laughs> during Christmas time. And then I like slip. Do you hear me? I'm like, ooh! <laughs> no slipping on ice here. This is good. Cool. Even when you live here, things change very quickly. We went to the landing, or the not the landing, we went to the boat dock by the at the west side, thinking that the, we would get on the boat there to go to Saratoga to see the Christmas and to get salads because they have like nice salads at their quick service but they only had boats going through the three docks at Disney Springs none to the resort we would be cutting it close to wait for take the boat to there to take the boat to Saratoga Springs to get food to walk back to the boat to come back here that's kind of too close because it's like 7.30 almost and we need to get there at 8.30 to get seated and get our tickets and everything at Will Call so we are walking around trying to find food and we just wanted a quick app here a salad and it's it's tending to be difficult to not eat a bunch of carbs and meats and fried foods here at Disney Springs, but we're checking out Homecoming, and if not, we're gonna get some ramen at Morimoto Street Food, because we've actually never had Morimoto Street Food, so that's what we're thinking. All right, Iron Chef Morimoto, we're here. That's what we're doing. We're gonna get a little bit of sushi, a little bit of ramen. The healthy, healthy-esque option. Did you see the little story over there about uh, Iron Chef Morimoto loving street food? Like he was like part of his growing up. Like that was part of his like culture and every day when he was growing up was getting some street food. Which is why like he wanted the, a part of the restaurant here. He wanted to do this quick service thing. So we got this ginger chicken ramen. And then we got some sushi and this cool thing which I'm kind of freaked out about. So this right here was, was 20 bucks. Yep, and this is a part of us like actually trying to eat better in the park. Like, it's not a cheat day, we're up here, and this is like the best option that we were able to find. We haven't done this for but just on a whim. So we 
just got done with, I was gonna say Raglan Road. We went to the store to look at it for a present, but we just got done with Morimoto Street Food, and I thought it was pretty good, it was decent. Decent pricing. If you've never had that style of food, it'd probably be really good, but we're spoiled. We, there used to be like an authentic ramen shop right by our, our apartment on the north side of Chicago. So like, knowing that is what we used to eat as ramen, and going there like it was good. It's just like the place in Chicago was great. It's like going to Subway and it was weird, the sushi after Earl. Cut. Yeah, the sushi wasn't cut, which is just like literally just a roll. Just like, that's good though. I'm actually I, I'm more full than I thought I'd be. Thank God. Yeah, but now we gotta go get our tickets. I don't think we still have said what we're doing. No, but it's gonna be in the title. Like so, you know what's coming. We're going to our last viewing of Circus Soleil, La Nuba. So just for fun, Star Wars Episode 8 comes out tonight. So of course there's already like people around Disney Springs, there's a marathon. Just for fun, I looked at my, my movie pass app, and it may be real. You could purchase a Star Wars marathon, 10 p.m. showing with movie pass, and a midnight showing of Episode 8 via movie pass, which is just insane to me. So we're coming to the kiosk to see if it's true. After a long, not really that long, after a, a, flustered Peter. a flustered Peter, we thought we could get the Star Wars Marathon 8 movie special at AMC with our movie pass. And to our surprise, because I, I thought it would be too good to be true for it to be a yes that they would cover because it's an $80 ticket, they covered almost $20 worth of it because it was almost like considered one movie today, one movie tomorrow. Yeah. Because it starts today and ends tomorrow. So it's still interesting and really nice that MoviePass does that. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that, Tuesdays and Fridays, 3.30 to 4, artists open rehearsal. You could watch the performers practice. I hope they do that with whatever show replaces it. We're totally gonna do that. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. 15 days is all that's left, I think. Yeah, I think they're just gonna change the inside because this show, this place was built for this show. So whatever show comes in is gonna be a little different. There you have it. So we're gonna go enjoy the show, but we'll let our friends show you and tell you about what's about to happen. But when it comes to a must-do, you can't miss La Nuba by Cirque du Soleil. All of the Cirque du Soleil shows are different. Did you know the La Nuba show is exclusive to the Walt Disney World Resort? You can't see it anywhere else. No matter your age, if you're up for a whole lot of eye, ear, and imagination candy, then grab some tickets for La Nuba by Cirque du Soleil. Well, there it is, everybody. Cirque du Soleil La Nuba. It was a good time. Yeah. We were just saying how it's like the music is on Stacy in the room. So like even though I didn't go to Cirque du Soleil every trip or we this is our third time, like it's still gonna be so weird for it to not be there. Right, because like that the, like the opera singer and the music like that reminds us of Stacy. Yeah. And like And just being on vacation, like because yeah. I mean that loop of Stacy is only a couple minutes. Like, it's only like 15, 15 minutes, minutes long, long so, so like you would hear it over and over again. And, and the Lunuwa had a big section of the downtown Disney area, so. But it was really good, and we haven't seen it since 2012, so it was cool. Like, one of the dancers dabbed, which was funny, and then they had a little booster board section where some guys came out riding booster boards, which was just funny because yeah, yeah. booster boards weren't around five years ago. Yeah. But Circus Soleil really did good. I can't wait to see what happens next. I don't think they've really released it yet. We saw that, I guess there's an Avatar show. But I hope we don't get that. I want another exclusive. Because like, Lanuba was exclusive to Disney World. The Avatar show has been around already. I want a new exclusive. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, Disney. <laughs> I see you, Star Wars. 25 hours from now. 25 hours. We're home from going to see Lanuba. And we could probably go to bed, and we probably should go to bed. But the thing is, the thing is, I got a gift card from a co-worker today for my birthday. Gift card to iTunes, which for us, hold on one moment.
But getting um, a gift card to iTunes means seeing what kind of Christmas deals they have on for movies or TV shows on the Apple TV because we don't have cable. We never have since we moved out of Sarah's mom's house. We just do the Apple TV. We do YouTube, Netflix. You can go, girl. We have Amazon Prime, but we don't really use it. Get a I'm playing with my new tripod. We got it to use uh, to to rest the gimbal on the ground, but I honestly think I might end up using it on the G7X a lot. <laughs> Eve, I'm busy over here. We bought Wild on the TV. Sarah's mad at me right now. Hey, Eve, this is the vloggy. Don't attack it. What do you want? What do you want to play? You want to play? Huh? She's mad because it was my birthday gift card from a coworker. And I bought a movie she wanted, but the secret is she doesn't realize I want to watch the movie too. Should we start it? Yeah. Oh boy. It is too late to be starting a movie, but hey, we haven't done that kind of nonsense in a long time. Well, it's really late. I don't even tell you how late it is. No. But it's been years, literally years, that Sarah's wanted this to watch Wild. Like even before it came out in theaters, and I think it was like a limited release kind of thing mm -hmm. in small theaters, and Sarah's like, can we go see that? We never did. So, we saw it tonight. Really good. Yeah, that was good. Sarah says she likes the book more, so check out the book first. Yeah. It just, I like details. I'm like an elaborator. She's so ready for bed. <laughs> just staring at the she's, camera. She's been like rough. She's been like walking around like for the past hour and a half, I think. But it's okay. time to go to bed. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.